Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. And today we have the WWE Night of Champions DVD collection with Clash of Champions being this Sunday thought we'd take a look at the previous uh, pay-per-views here. I'll do a separate video for Clash of Champions uh, pay-per-views, just so there's no confusion here. But we have eight pay-per-views here from 2008 through 2015. Not going to include the 2007 since it was technically a Vengeance pay-per-view. Um, but, you know, let's take a quick look at the spines. If they'll all stand up, they probably won't. Um, these are the issues we have with the eco cases. They don't want to stand up. So we'll give you a shot of the spines in the sideways. Very cool spines. You know, a lot of these. I like the original logo. From 2008 and 9 and then it seems like they you know went with this logo for the remainder of the years but they did use that one logo which kind of looked like the world title which I actually really like they used it started using it on this cover art but they did have it back in 2008 they just never put it on the DVD so let's take a look at 2008's Night of Champions. Overall, a pretty solid event. But I think this cover art and artwork could be improved. And you kind of got Jericho shoehorned in the back. You got Triple H and Edge as World Heavyweight Champion and WWE Champions. This was uh, right around the 2008 WWE Draft. So there was a lot of things going on here of course 2008 had inserts with their pay-per-views beautiful see this is fine I, I can't see why they don't do this so we do have JR's farewell address on on raw the next night that might have been uh yeah so I do like how they did this. Very organized on the back. So we got a WWE tag title match, US, ECW. And during the show, there's a banner of the ECW title, which they kind of photoshopped the cruiserweight title and just slapped the ECW banner on there, which I think is really sloppy of WWE. Of course, I, I believe uh, Kane was the champion here versus Mark Henry and Big Show. Got the world tag title match. This is uh, pretty notable. You got Hardcore Holly and Cody Rhodes versus Ted DiBiase and a mystery partner, which turns out to be Cody Rhodes. So this is pretty much the end of Hardcore Holly's run in wrestling. Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes would be a... Pretty good tag team. They would later join uh, a, a Legacy with Randy Orton. Mickey James and Katie Lee Burchill for the women's title. Batista versus Edge for the world title. So Edge was drafted to... Was on SmackDown. Batista was drafted to Raw. Triple H was drafted to SmackDown as WWE Champion versus John Cena. I thought Triple H and Cena had a pretty good match here. Batista fails to uh, defeat Edge, and Raw would be left without a world champion. Of course, CM Punk the next night cashes in Money in the Bank for the first time, so that was cool. 2009, again, fairly decent artwork on the cover. Similar to the prior year, CM Punk would cash in. Right around the same time, this time, uh, I believe the month prior at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So this time, no art, no insert, I mean. 
but we do have a pretty nice art disc art. And this would be the start of the CM Punk Jeff Hardy rivalry, which would go through the summer of 2009. I enjoyed the hell out of that. So we got all kinds of title matches here. We got Chris Jericho and a mystery partner once again versus DiBiase and Rhodes. So they pretty much did the same thing two years in a row, and it went against uh, the guys who did it the prior year. So that's pretty cool. This would be Jericho and Edge winning the tag titles. We also had uh, Orton, Cena, and Triple H in a rematch from WrestleMania 24. Decent match overall. This was a pretty good show. Night of Champions 2010. Spoiler cover. You know, it's always fun to have a spoiler cover or not. I don't think this art works as nice as the prior year. I still don't know why they didn't use that uh, other logo like we'll see in a minute. But, you know, as long as we have a match listing, I'm happy. But I still think we need to insert. We got a six-pack challenge for the WWE title. U.S. title match. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. The Big Show versus CM Punk. Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler, yes. <laughs> that, I, I just kind of laugh now when I see this on so many pay-per-views. Got Tag Team Turmoil for the tag titles. And a Unification Lumberjill match for the Divas and Women's title. So after this pay-per-view, there's going to be no Women's Championship for almost six years. They would carry on with the Divas title and kind of abandon the Women's Championship here, which I think was the wrong move. We got Melina versus Lay Cool. Michelle McCool. Michelle McCool was the official Women's Champion. 2011. We got our three main event matches on the cover. Pretty bland disc art, but I do like that Knight of Champions uh, logo quite a bit. So similar to the prior year, we got most of the matches on the back. You know, pretty much every year, you might have a match or two missing from the overall match listed here. But we got a contract signing between Triple H and CM Punk. So they, they were involved in a lot of matches together. I think the... Next month, they're in a tag team match versus The Miz and R-Truth. And it was a decent match. Triple H beats CM Punk here. We got Del Rio versus Cena. Orton versus Mark Henry. Mark Henry wins the World Heavyweight Championship. And a fatal four-way match for the U.S. title. Ziggler, Morrison, and Swagger. Alex Riley's in there. Now we got Cody Rhodes versus Ted DiBiase. So now they are feuding. Once partners. Air Boom versus The Miz and R-Truth. Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. Decent event. I, I don't think that's one of the better Night of Champions. 2012. We are in the CM Punk uh, middle of his 434-day title reign. Spoiler cover once again. And I like this quite a bit. Disc art, really cool. I always liked when they add alternate disc art to the covers. And now, in the middle of 2012 somewhere, they started doing this, where they kind of just put a brief paragraph, which I've never liked. But we had CM Punk versus John Cena in a rematch. You know, they had a ton of matches from between 2011 and 2012 and into th 2013 we had Sheamus versus Del Rio for the world title Kane and Daniel Bryan challenging Kofi Kingston in our truth we also had Orton and Ziggler Cesaro and versus Zack Ryder this is the beginning of team hell no as champions and they would have a pretty solid run next up here another spoiler cover 
Night of Champions, the spoiler covers. And I really like this because it's it's kind of like a, a portrait portraitized Daniel Bryan got uh, screwed over by Triple H at SummerSlam. Here we have uh, pretty much the rematch the month later. Daniel Bryan wins again, and he would be uh, kind of screwed over again. And they said it was a fast count or whatever. Pretty bland disc art here, you know. You got the logo and it's black. But we also have uh, Curtis Axel versus CM Punk. RVD versus Del Rio for the world title. Uh, decent event. I, I think this one gets overlooked quite a bit. Definitely check out 2013. 2014. I thought this was a pretty solid show. Got Lesnar and Cena in their rematch from SummerSlam the prior month. So Night of Champions was, you know, a lot of matches carried over from SummerSlam usually. This would be the first appearance on pay-per-view for the new World Heavyweight Championship. So at the end of 2013, they unified the WWE and world titles. And Lesnar would defeat Cena at SummerSlam in dominant fashion. Here we have uh, one title once again. Decent discard, you know, similar to the cover. So we have Rusev versus Mark Henry. It was supposed to be Rollins versus Reigns. Reigns had a unexpected hernia. And he's going to be out for a few months. And Reigns would return around TLC and eventually win the Royal Rumble in 2015. But here we have a brief encounter between uh, Ambrose and Rollins. Cena versus Lesnar. We had the Rhodes, Gold, and Stardust. <laughs> I, I hate that they kind of uh, shortened his name to just Gold. Gold Dust and Stardust. Defeating the, uh, the Usos for the tag titles. We also had the Peep Show versus Jericho. Jericho would face Randy Orton here in a really good match. You also had Cesaro versus Sheamus for the U.S. title. So Cesaro and Sheamus would feud on and off for several years until eventually teaming up uh, in 2016. And finally in 2015, the last Night of Champions pay-per-view. I love this cover. Really good pay-per-view. You got Sting, John Cena, taking on Seth Rollins. Two matches here. WWE title match versus Sting and U.S. title match versus John Cena. Disc hurt pretty much similar to the cover. You also had Kevin Owens versus Ryback. Longest reigning Divas champion Nikki Bella versus Charlotte. Charlotte's going to win the title here, pretty sure. And she's pretty much going to be the last Divas champion until they bring the women's title, introduce it at WrestleMania 32. We also had the Dudley Boys back in WWE at this time. So that was really cool. I forget who they faced. It might have been the, the Usos. But we also got Neville in the Lucha Dragons versus Stardust in the Ascension. Really good pay-per-view. Definitely check this one out. So let me know your thoughts on Night of Champions. Let me know some of your favorite events overall. I think it was a, a decent event. I, I never really liked the concept of this. But, you know, because we pretty much see uh, title matches at every pay-per-view anyway. So let me know your thoughts, guys, as always. We'll talk to you later. Peace.